many times that I miss you I know how to call when I want to Now you got way bigger issues So we are going to be starting off with this lining piece I'm using a lining to make this pause because I want to line my wrap dress so you go ahead and use lining if your fabric is not that thick. Now we're going to be working for a small size. So the measurement we're using is bust 32, waist 26, and hips 34. And the armhole length we're going to be using is 9 inches. In the previous wrap dress I made, I made that for a plus size. And this one is going to be a small size. Now when you're working with freehand, there are some things you can get away with and there are some you cannot get away with so that's why it's usually better when you want to do professional work you have to do your pattern drafting but for this i am doing this for beginners <laughs> that don't want to that just want to know how to you know so couple their dresses so now you are going to fold this like this again meanwhile by the way i'm using a half scale to make this don't mind my tape just listen to what i'm calling and what i'm dropping on the screen <laughs> before you start looking at the tape just watch what i'm calling for the measurements so i have my fabric folded like this this is going to be the front center front and the center back so the one on fold will be for the back and this one will be for the front now we're going to be starting our measurements start this first of all you will come down to the chest line the chest line i'm using is nine inches i'm going to make it eight and a half and i will mark it here eight and a half because i have added the sewing allowance for the armhole so i added sewing allowance to this which made it eight and a half if not it's supposed to be nine inches now what i have here is the final length for the waistline so i've already added sewing allowance also for the waistline for the neckline of this wrap dress i'm going to come in here three and a half inches and i'm going to go down one and a half inches remember i've already added sewing allowance to all of this to connect this like this so for the front i don't need the neckline now from the center back i'm going to come eight inches for the shoulder width remember i've already added so in allowance to that, I will also come down from the chest line 8 inches and I will connect these two lines. Next, from this, I'm going to come down the so shoulder sloping 1 inch and I'm going to connect this line to this line. remember everything i'm doing my cutting my sewing allowance is already included because i'm cutting direct on fabric if not that i would have made it exactly the right measurement next on this chest line you're going to divide the hips by four whatever you get you're going to add sewing allowance to that now remember what i'm using here is the hip measurement not the bust measurement so hips divided by four plus sewing allowance that way you will get the right ease you need for the bust next you're going to drop the line on the waistline so i'm going to drop mine on the waistline like this hips divided by four plus sewing allowance that's what i have here so next thing i'm going to do on this waistline i'm going to go in 1.5 inches whatever i have here will be enough to give me the amount of ease that i need so i'm going to connect these lines like this i'm using this method because i am using freehand method for the last wrap dress i made i shaped the waistline that is because it is a plus size but for a small size you need, don't need that waist shaping next i'm going to make the armhole curve so i'm going to just make this armhole curve like this before i do that i went ahead and checked the center between here and here the center which is this place so i'm going to use that as a guide and do this so i'm going to cut this like this the next thing i will cut this silhouette out
for the back i'm just going to cut only this now for the wrap dress i have marked where my center back stopped and i have marked where the shoulder line stopped so if you can see that's the two points and that's all i need for my center front so from here this center front which is this place i'm going to go that way six inches guys for the fact that you're working with a free hand there are some things you cannot get away with even if you're making this for a plus size or a small size i would suggest you add six inches else your cleavage will always show so if you don't want your cleavage to show you must maintain six inches whether you're a plus size or a small size if you're using a pattern to make this wrap dress you can as well make it three inches four inches five inches anything you want because you're going to still take care of the gaping but if you're working straight on your fabric you must use six inches for this else your cleavage must show so the next thing i will do is to take this away and i'm going to you know draw the shape of the wrap dress that i'm making i'm going to be making a lot of wrap dresses these days so that you you know get used to all of this so i'm going to join this like this you can either make it straight you can make it straight or you can you know curve it whichever one whichever silhouette you like you can you know be able to do that so but i will advise that before you do that go ahead and check it for use your pencil to draw it out and be sure of the neckline that you have seen before you finally cut out but i'm going to be cutting this out like this if i cut it straight look at how it's going to look so let me show you if i cut it straight it's going to look like this yeah it's going to look like this but see the the depth i am using can you see the depth like one inch i went in one inch because i want to you know cut this unlike the last wrap dress that i made that was straight so i'm going to cut this out sorry guys from the waistline i came up three inches because from here to here i have half inch sewing allowance and from here to here i also have half inch sewing allowance and in between i have two inches space where i'm going to be attaching the rope for the wrap so all in all i have three inches here and that's why i started this so i hope i am not forgetting anything so i'm just going to go ahead and cut this out now like i said this is my lining piece i'm going to go ahead and cut this out from the main fabric <laughs> I'll set this aside and we go to the lower part. Now to cut the lower part, I will also fold my fabric the same way that I have folded the upper part. So I'm going to fold it into two like this and I fold it into four again. So like I said, this is the same thing with the upper part. So from here to here will be for the wrap and this side is for the hip. So now what I also did is hips divided by four from here to here is also hips divided by four plus sewing allowance that's how i got this now also this is the center front and the center back this is for the back and this is for the front so now the next thing i have from this line i'm going to go ahead and get my hip length the hip length i'm working with is 7.5 inches i'll mark it from here to here Remember to always add your sewing allowance when you're working on your actual fabric. So I added the sewing allowance also. Next is the length of the skirt without the wrap. So the length of the skirt is 21 inches and I'm going to be using 3 inches for the frills. That will make it 19 inches and you're going to be adding half inch sewing allowance to that and that's what i have here now on the waistline i'm going to come in this way one and a half inches the same thing i did on the upper side so i'm going to come in from here to here one and a half inches and i'm going to connect it to the hip line
if you're watching till this time remember to give this video a thumbs up and do let me know what you feel in the comment section if you're enjoying this video or not and also let me know where you're watching me from the next thing we have to do is to come to this skirt part and we're going to curve it this way in so i'm just going to cut this out first of all before i start shaping that now you have to pay attention here before we cut the front it depends on how you want the silhouette of the wrap dress to be that is what is dependent on how you're going to cut this place if you want the frills if you want the frills to enter the waist then you you have to minus that frills here but if you don't want that then you can always go ahead and you know leave this like this but for me i want my frills to come in here so whatever the width of my frills is i'm going to take that away from here so like i told you i have four inches i'm going to take that away from here and now connect my wrap like that so this is my four inches here i'm going to take the back away and connect this like this just go ahead you can use your free hand you can use your curve curve um whatever but i think my curve ruler will not give me what i want here so i'm just going to you know free hand do this first of all and see how the silhouette looks there again silhouettes <laughs> see how the silhouette looks and you know i'll take it from there yes i think i have what i want i have gotten what i want so i'll just go ahead and cut this off so guys these are all the pieces we are working with also i have made the frills for this i've cut out the frills for it remember i told you guys the frills is four inches you're going to add so you're going to make four inches divided by two and you're going to add sewing allowance all in all you should have nine inches and you fold it into two that will be for the frills so i'm going to go and join this first of all I'm, i'll be starting with the upper part going to go to my machine now first of all i'm going to close the neckline so many times that i miss you i know how to call when i want to now you got way bigger issues
I've gone ahead and joined the sides of the skirt as you can see guys so next I'm going to take the pleats that I made the box pleats that I just made and I'm going to attach it before I attach it I'll have to make sure that from the beginning I'll leave space of like one inch so I'm just going to place it like this leaving one inch can you guys see the one inch that I have left so I'm going to sew all around like this place it all around i made sure the what i pleated was more than the skirt so that i can handle it so when i come to this place i'm going to loosen it and make it at least one inch allowance so by the time i sew out the half inch this way i'll have half inch for the this thing. so i'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other side so this is it after joining it so i'll just go ahead and cut off this i made sure the allowance on both sides were one inch so i'll just go ahead and cut this off next i'm going to go ahead and add the the waistline the upper waistline i'm going to go ahead and add it to this one i've gone ahead and made the sleeve guys I, I this is too small for me to show you guys so i have a video on how to make um bishop sleeve i have a, a, a lot of them on my channel i'll go ahead and link them in the description section so you learn how to do that so next i'm going to just go ahead and you know add this to it so just join it from um, size seam to size seam as you can see it's aligned very well can you guys see yes yeah, so i'm going to go ahead and sew it all around and then i will show you the final look